Hey guys, Alex Kazora from SteelersDepot.com, and I know the last couple videos that we've done, we talked about the offense a lot, but today I want to switch gears and, and give some love to the defense, and specifically to one guy who has gotten a lot of criticism uh, the first two weeks, you know, accusations, fans asking, has the game passed him by, and of course I talk about Dick LeBeau. And I think he kind of answered that this past Sunday with an emphatic, no, the game has not passed Dick LeBeau by. Uh, even Ron Rivera, the Panthers head coach, had said that he was surprised by some of the different looks and, and pre-snap you know, formations and personnel the Steelers had. Uh, and, and he's definitely right about that. Uh, LeBeau uh, you know, turned the dial up to 11 Sunday compared to where we were at the first two weeks with a lot of different looks. Uh, you talk about things like Brett Kiesel lining up at left outside linebacker, even some right outside linebacker, uh, basically acting as that end man on the line with his hand up. And then you would have Kim Hayward uh, usually at, you know, the, the D tackle to that side. So if Kiesel was at left uh, outside linebacker, Hayward at left D tackle. Well, there were times where you had Hayward playing basically a zero or a one tech at the nose. Um, you had situations, Jason Wolves played a ton of inside linebacker, where you had three inside linebackers, Worlds, uh, either Shazier or Spence, and then Timmons, and just one really true outside linebacker. Um, you had the Arthur Moat sack on Cam Newton. Uh, Cam Hayward dropped into coverage on that play. Um, you saw a lot of new looks, some things, things we haven't seen this year, things we haven't seen in a while, uh, that really confuse Cam Newton. And when you talk about a young quarterback, and a guy that's still trying to be able to diagnose defenses and in replays, and as a, as a guy that has trouble getting off his first read, he missed some open receivers Sunday. He had some chances, and he just missed it because he would lock on to his first receiver. So you give him a lot to look at pre-snap, and when you give them a lot to, to digest, um, it slows them down. And same with the offensive line. We knew this was a Panthers offensive line that was not very good and they're not very athletic. They really could not recover from any mistakes that they made. And the Steelers defense uh, made their life pretty miserable on Sunday. Nate Chandler in particular, I thought, looked pretty bad. I'm still going through the uh, the coach's tape right now. Uh, but from what I've seen so far and whenever I charted uh, the Steelers defense, which I'm done with, uh, it opened up uh, a lot of the specifics of what Dick LeBeau did. If you look at it just from a number standpoint, uh, the blitzes and the number of rushers aren't a whole lot different in the first two weeks. Once every four snaps, you usually get a, a blitz or five or six guys rushing. Um, so nothing too crazy there statistically, but if you just watch the tape, which is why I'm you know, a big proponent of tape instead of just stats, uh, they tell you a whole different story. Uh, so for people that, that think you know, the game has passed Dick Lebo by, it certainly has not. Uh, you know, the mark of a good coach, because any coach is going to fail. If you're Mike Tomlin, Dick LeBeau, Bill Belichick, it doesn't matter. You're all going to you're all gonna have obstacles to overcome. You're all going to have moments where you fail. It's about how you overcome that. And uh, even at 77, Dick LeBeau shows that uh, he, he is a, a guy that can overcome it and, and a guy that does not, you know, shrink in those moments. He's a guy that's going to keep scheming, that the wheels are going to keep turning up in his head, and uh, you're going to have performances like uh, the Steelers defense did. Uh, on Sunday. So we'll see what Tampa Bay holds. Uh, that's a team that obviously is struggling right now. is in a big rut. So the Steelers defense wants to be able to stack what they did last week, translate that to this week. Um, I think, you're, again, you're going to see a lot of new wrinkles, maybe even some new stuff. Uh, you know, Dick LeBeau is a guy that is uh, going to keep creating, keep scheming, and, and keep guys, uh, uh, the offensive coordinator and the, you know, the quarterback and, and that whole group uh, guessing all week long. So be sure to check out, you know, Dave's stuff, Matthew's stuff. Uh, Melanie's done a fantastic job with the injury reports. Be sure to check her out uh, as well. Um, and then I think I will have my game rewind up on Friday. So tomorrow, by the time you guys see this, it's a little after, I think, midnight, uh, I guess Thursday morning technically here. But that will be up hopefully on Friday along with my sack breakdown uh, before the Sunday's game against Tampa Bay. So thank you guys for listening, and thank you guys for following Steelers Depot.